It's hard to remember now, but before Social Security, nearly half of America's seniors lived in poverty. After a lifetime of playing by the rules and working hard, there was no guarantee of a secure retirement. My grandfather, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, and a majority of Americans thought that was wrong. They believed that lifting our seniors out of poverty is a reflection of our nation's core values. That's why my grandfather signed the Social Security Act 73 years ago today. One of the great successes of the 20th century, today Social Security lifts nearly 13 million seniors and 1.3 million children out of poverty. Back in 1935, a small minority did not share those values. They opposed the creation of Social Security because they believed the government should not have a role in ensuring a retirement with dignity or helping seniors stay out of poverty. They said, you're on your own. John McCain agrees with that old way of thinking. Like President Bush, he wants to privatize our Social Security, turning it into a gamble with our futures and making 8.6 million American seniors vulnerable to poverty. John McCain has even said, Social Security is a disgrace. I couldn't disagree more. Our Social Security isn't a disgrace. It's a compact, a trust between generations of Americans. It's a reflection of our values. On the 70th anniversary of Social Security, Americans stood together and said no to George Bush's attempt to privatize Social Security. On this anniversary, let's make sure John McCain hears the same message. Tell John McCain to keep his hands off our Social Security.